Hi guys, my name is Frank Summers. Welcome to this Toon Boom Harmony tutorial. Oftentimes when we work in traditional animation, we'll put our line tests or our pencil tests over top of either partially completed layouts or backgrounds, and sometimes even final artwork. And when we do that, it suddenly becomes a little harder to read our traditional animation. Harmony has a feature called Generate Automat, which will help us deal with that issue. So why don't we jump into Harmony here? And for this scene right now, I have my little hunchback guy, which this has been posted to my YouTube channel before, um, but I just tracked him into place. He's just walking through this background. And right now he's rough animation um, and he's pretty easy to, to see across uh, with this, just the uh, gray slate in the background there. Um, but the second I kind of put in a BG here that I kind of slotted together with some elements, suddenly that animation gets a little harder to see. So why don't we do this? we can generate an auto mat. Um, it's generally good practice to create a new swatch, a new color swatch. Um, I've already done that ahead of time. I created one and it's made it white, but you can make it any color you want. Um, and I just named it auto mat. And in order to create our auto mat, it's actually very easy. We can just either select our layer or our cell, our drawing, go up to the drawing menu up here on the top and drop down to generate auto mat. That brings up this dialog box and we have a couple options here in front of us. The first one will apply this function to every drawing that's hanging out here in our layer. Uh, the next, so you can turn that on or off, it, depending if you need it uh, to apply to the, just the current drawing that you have selected or every drawing in the layer. The next one, radius, is describing how much of the mat it's going to draw around your shape. So the higher this value, I believe by default it's set to 200. So the higher that value, um, it'll kind of round out the shapes here around, like for example, in this tight area between his forearm and his jaw, it'll make it a bit more of a rounder area. If I lower it to a lower value, say 50, that's typically what I kind of shoot at, but you can go lower than that. It'll hug that detail area just a little more tightly, tighter, I should say. So I'm gonna keep mine at 50. Now the next one is telling where exactly we're going to place the mat that Harmony will generate for us. So by default, we have it set to line art, which is our source. So I drew all of my rough animation on the, the line art layer. And where is it going to put the mat? Well, it's gonna put it on our underlay layer, art layer. And if these topics are a little confusing for you. Uh, what exactly is line art? What's underlay? What's color art? So forth. Um, I have a video for that. Please check it out. I'll have a card in, or a link in my description. Um, but you can you can change the you can change these to wherever you want by playing with those drop boxes. Um, the next option is clear to destination artwork first, which means you may have something already kind of like sitting down there. Maybe it's an old mat. Maybe it's some artwork that maybe you forgot to get rid of or delete or erase. You can keep that checked on or off as you need to. And the next one is copy strokes in destination. You can, that's, uh, uh, that's up to you. What it will do is it'll copy all of your brush strokes and place them down onto the, uh, onto the mat as it creates, that it will create for you. So that's up to you. I typically keep that off because I'm trying to keep my file a little more on the light, lighter side so we can play back faster. And again, when I hit OK here, um, it's going to whatever color I currently have selected, it, it will create the mat with. So I made sure that I already selected my auto mat color swatch that I created ahead of time. And now what I'm going to do is I will check off apply to all drawings and I'll hit OK. And sometimes this might take a few seconds, but oh, that wasn't too bad. And you'll see it generated that white swatch behind my uh, that mat behind my hunchback character. So now when I hit play, play and back, you can see it much more cleanly against the background for line art rough purposes, for rough animation purposes. And that is about it. Sometimes you have to go in there and clean up some of clean up some of it. Like it'll start make this stuff right here. It'll maybe get a little too tight or maybe it'll find errant brush strokes that you may have done uh, done by accident, you know, where it closes an area in here. Um, that's up for you. You can go in there and just manually go drop down to your underlay layer and just erase it from as you need to. Um, but for the most part, it did a pretty good job. Slotted that in really easily, nice and quickly. Now he's much more easy to read. I can see that much more clearly. And one final thing before I wrap up, I'd like to point out that the Generate Automat will only work on a vector layer. So if your rough animation is put on a bitmap layer, it will not work. 
So only vector layers only. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out with me and talking about Harmony. I will see you guys soon and take care.